Hello dear students, welcome to our transactional conversation class. Today, we are going to discuss the new topic, Global Cultures and International Cuisines. In this topic, you will get some information about the topic, Global Culture and International Cuisines, and at the end, you will be delivering a presentation with your group about certain cuisines from certain region. Okay, now let's just get started. So, if you uh, hear the word cuisines, what comes up in your mind? And also about the international cuisines. Is it always the western food or uh, the food from other countries? Okay, so cuisines is not only the food itself. So, it's the foods and the methods of preparing the traditional fruit, uh, food from region or from population. So, there are what we call as international food but there are some major factors that shape the cuisines so what are they so the first factor is the advertising the second one is the availability so it means the availability of the ingredients itself that's why the cuisines from one place is different from another place right and then the next one is climate so the climate from certain regions, of course, will influence the kinds of the cuisines from that regions. For example, uh, from the regions which uh, the season is always cold, always winter, for example. So the food or the cuisines, of course, will be something hot or something warm, right? Okay, and then the next uh, factor is the cost or the price. And then the next one is the economic conditions right? and the last one is the religion so in some religions this kind of food is um, okay to be eaten and some other food are not okay to be eaten so that kind of religions values will influence the kinds of cuisines from certain place as well okay now let's talk about the culture itself besides the international uh, Cuisines, we also discuss about the international culture. So the culture is the behaviors and belief characteristics of a particular social, ethnic, or age group. Of course, this one is also influence the cuisine, or the cuisines can influence the culture itself. Okay, now let's start talking about the examples of international cuisines. If I say, is Indonesian food uh, international food? The answer is yes. So as I mentioned before, international food, international cuisine is not only from Western, right? We have Indonesian food, we have American food, Italian food, uh, Japanese food, Mexican food, and others. And since the international itself uh, doesn't have the rigid boundaries anymore nowadays, so we can say that we are also a part of the international uh, community or, or the international people okay I want to discuss the, the first international group from our country Indonesia so can you come up with some ideas of food coming from Indonesia we have some uh, popular food right so we have satay we have the ayam betutu we have rendang Rendang is uh, one of uh, the most popular and the most delicious food in the world, right? And as you know that in our country, there are a lot of culture, there are a lot of uh, traditions. So the cuisines from Indonesia is a very traditional cuisines from all religions, all religions, I mean, in Indonesia. So the food from Sumatra, the food from Java, from Kalimantan, and so on and so forth. That's why we are so rich with our cuisines. Okay, the next one, there are American cuisines. Actually, it's a similar situation with Indonesia. If in Indonesia, the cuisines comes from different uh, traditions, right, from different regions, in America, the cuisine itself is a combination of all the traditional cuisines of immigrants inhabitants uh, if you have ever heard the word melting pot so the culture in, in, in america is like a melting pot so there are a lot of uh, cultures from the immigrants there there are the american uh, native as well 
there are the african immigrant there are the asian immigrant and then they become one is an american that and they have uh, different kinds of cuisines therefore it enriches uh, the american cuisines yourself so can you guess what are the examples of the american cuisines we have hot dogs maybe right and others okay the next one we have italian cuisines so i'm sure that you're familiar with this italian cuisines maybe some of you um, love italian cuisines they have uh, pasta they have pizza and others right the italian cuisine itself reflects the cultural variety of its regions and its diverse history okay and the next one japanese cuisines okay i personally like japanese cuisines too. what about you right so in the japanese cuisines the example of course like sushi right like ramen right and the uh, japanese cuisines are known for the emphasis on seasonality of food as we know uh, japan has four seasons right and they have different kinds of food in different season and uh, they also really concern about the quality of the ingredients and the presentations of the food itself so you can try the japanese cuisines uh, sometime right uh, the next one is about the mexican cuisines so it's a bit different so there is a signature in uh, mexican cuisines so the mexican cuisines are food are known for this intense and varied flavor so the spice the spice there is rich right and then uh, another signature is usually they serve the cuisines or the food in colorful decorations and as i mentioned of course yeah the variety of spice okay right so there are other identifiable cuisines the international cuisines there are chinese food french food uh, german greek indian jamaican american russian spanish and thai right so you can find some other examples of this international food okay so the next assignment for you is i want you to uh, make a short video it's about five to seven minutes about a cuisines from your region in this case this is from indonesia but i'm sure that you come from different region maybe you are from lampung you are from uh, java maybe west java or uh, south sumatra and etc right i want you to describe the name the taste and the story behind the cuisines right so you can relate it with the culture or with the history or the philosophy right but before that i want you to discuss first with your friend right so ask for suggestion and give the suggestions from your uh, to your friends so before you make the video and then upload it to our spada you can get the good uh, feedback from your uh, friends okay that's all for uh, today's um, session so i'll see you in the next uh, session with the new topic okay good day